Hey, my creators. I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving holiday. I hope you spent it with friends and family that you love, honor, and respect. So are you ready to learn more about Canva and Mid Journey and how to make some awesome t-shirt designs? Well, get ready. I'm going to show you how. Hey, my creators. I'm over on midjourney.com and I'm on my page. And as you can see, I have some pretty awesome designs here. I'm very, very pleased with these. I'm going to show you how you can really make some awesome t-shirt designs with your midjourney images. All right. So let's get ready to do this. All right, creators. So we're over on canva.com and we are going to create a new design. And by the way, I have the Canva Pro account. I just love the Pro subscription. You get so many um, different fonts and graphics and apps and things that you wouldn't have access to in the free version. So do keep that in mind when you are making your creations. If you want some awesome creations, you really need to sign up for the Canva uh, Pro account. Anyway, so I'm in Create a Design and we are going to create a custom size. We're gonna make sure that the unit is in inches and we are going to make the width 12 and the height 16 because for t-shirts, this is typically the average size that is accepted on most print on demand websites like Printify and Printful especially. So now I'm going to create a new design and it's going to open up into a new page. So now we have our brand new page. Now I want to go over to my projects on the left side and I'm going to choose folders and I am going to choose some items that I have already uploaded. And these are items that I created um, using Midjourney mostly, but I've also created some in other um, AI platforms. All right, so I am going to start with the image itself. So I think maybe I'll choose her. And you guys know I just do stuff off the cuff. So this was not planned. I'm doing this for the first time. So I love this image, but um, the top part of the hat was cut off a little bit. So we're going to try to see if we can adjust this. So I'm going to duplicate this design. And you see, I have two of them now. First of all, let me do this. Let me move this out of the way. Let me go back to the original and I want to remove the background because usually when you download these designs from Mid Journey and other platforms, usually the background is still there. It's white if you create a white background, but it's not a clear background. And so I want to do that to the other one as well. And so now both of the backgrounds are removed and you can tell because when you click on it, you see up here where it says BG remover, it's highlighted in purple. When you have an item and it's not, um, it, and the background has not been removed, it won't be uh, highlighted in purple like that. All right, so now that both of the backgrounds are removed, I'm just laying the second one directly on top of the first one. And I'm gonna flip this one around. So I just flip the second one around. Now what I want to try to do is create a line up here like she has on the left side of the hat. So we're going to see if we can kind of use this part of the hat to get that line that we need to make it a, a solid hat. So it may work, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but we are going to try our best to see if it can work. I'm not sure if this one will work, but we're gonna keep trying. Let's see, let me duplicate this again. Let me move it over some. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, guys. But let's see, it doesn't hurt to try. All we can do is try. If it doesn't work, it just doesn't work. And we'll have to work around it. Let me see. Let me just work with this one. Make it larger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bring it over. 
Yeah, I don't think this one is going to work. Sometimes it works well when you're doing like hair or something like that. It'll work well, but doesn't always work. So I'm going to keep trying to play with this. Okay, my creators, I think it worked. Um, I had to play with it a lot, but I think it worked. It gave just a kind of top part of that, of the cap. I didn't want it to just be um, a like it was cut off, okay? So now I group them together as well. So when I move this around, it's one entire piece. All right, so I can... We don't have to put a lot of text on here because her hat basically says it all. So I'm going to make her larger and now I'm going to start adding other elements around her to finish up the design. So let's um, get out of positions and let's go back over to elements. So I'm going to type in, let's see, silver glitter. And we're just going to see what comes up with the silver glitter. I'm going to click on see all. And there are a lot of things that come up. So I'm going to move her down a little bit. And let's pop this over here and see what happens. I kind of like that. We'll just hold that for a second. I think I like this one. And let's click on what magic recommendations shows us. So we got a lot of stuff in the magic recommendations. So let's choose something. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's choose this one. I think that's a little different from the one down here. Yeah, it's a little different. But we can, um, you can choose whichever one you want. But I like, I think I like this one. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the other ones. I think I'm going to delete that one. And now I'm going to start playing with the position. I'm going to move this to the back or behind the focal character. So now she's in front. And on the bottom, I want to put something underneath here, but I don't want it to be, um, I don't want you to be able to see through it. So I'm going to type in silver slash and see what comes up. Let's see. Okay. This is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. I like this. So let's make this a little smaller, move this down, turn it a little. Okay. Um, you guys who've been with me for a while, you know, I do not like when art cuts off at the bottom. I always like, um, something to kind of I don't know, make it to seem like it's a, a full piece of art because I think art should just never just cut off like that. So that's why I do that. And personally, I think on a t-shirt or something, it just looks better to me. So to create a t-shirt mock-up, I'm going to go to file and I am going to choose create a new design. We're going to choose custom size and I'm going to choose my 2500 by 2100 pixels. This is already here for me to choose from because I use this size often. I find that this is the best size. If you have an Etsy store, it is really a great size to fit in your listing photos for Etsy. Also, what I need to do is download this image as a PNG file. So I'm going to choose share over here to the top on the right. I'm going to choose download. It's at a PNG. I'm going to increase the size to three because that will make the resolution better. And I'm going to change the background, changing it to three. Usually if the original image is downloaded from mid journey, it depends on what you have done in mid journey. If you've upscaled the image, from mid journey, then it might download it already as a 300 DPI. And so increasing the size here to three might make it really, really huge. So I did upscale this image. So I'm going to just choose um, a two and we're going to download it as a two and see what happens. So it's on transparent background. So now I am downloading the file and we're going to upload this 
eventually over on to uh, Printify. But right now we're going to create our mock-up image in Canva. So if you remember, I chose to create a new design size, which was 2,500 by 2,100. All right, so now I'm over in my folder where I have my models. These are AI photos that I've created and I sell these. So if you're interested and you need some mock-ups, I sell them very cheap. Um, I think like 75 cents or something for four, something really crazy. But anyway, I am going to set this as a background because I just want to highlight the t-shirt image. I don't necessarily have to have the full face. So now we're going to uh, upload our design that we just downloaded. All right, so here's our design. So I'm going to click on the design and it automatically just pops over to the page that you've already selected on Canva. So, oh, this looks awesome, guys. See, it doesn't always take a lot. The fact that her hat already says sassy, we didn't have to put a lot of text. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to turn this image a little to the left because if you look at how she's posed, she's kind of um, leaning to the side a little bit. So we want the image to really look like it is popping off of the shirt. So now you have your mock-up. This can be a listing photo on Etsy if you like. Now, if you're using Printify or Printful or something like that, they give you mock-up photos, but sometimes, I don't know if you guys have used those, but sometimes the mock-ups are not really representative of what you are selling. So you sometimes may need to create your own or use them in addition to what is already uh, given to you on one of those uh, sites like Printify. So now let's head over to Printify and let's see what this uh, resolution ended up being for this design. Because sometimes you see it on the computer and it looks fabulous. But the important thing is how will it look when it is printed out on an actual uh, mug or t-shirt or something like that. It has to be at least a 300 DPI to be clear on your item. All right. So let's head on over to Printify. Hey, my creators, pardon the interruption. I just wanted to remind you that I do sell these beautiful images on my site at joyartclub.online, joyartclub.online. Check me out. It's a way for you to help support the channel. I appreciate you. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, my creators, we are over on printify.com and I am going to upload our design to this unisex jersey short sleeve v-neck tee. And I chose a variant color of black. So let's upload the image now and see what Printify says about our design. All right, it is adding the file to the library. So it should be just a second, it's loading it and we're gonna see. Oh, it looks great. Let's click off of here. Let me go to edit. Okay, it says that the resolution is 235. So we have to change that a little bit. Um, so two things we're going to do. First, let's go back over to Canva and let's upsize the design a little bit. All right, my creator. So we're back over on Canva. We're at our design. And so this time when we download, we are going to take this dial all the way to the right to 3.125. We're going to change it to a transparent background. Now, remember, when we change this dial from left to right, it just it increases or decreases the resolution. So since um, Printify told us that the resolution was only 200 and something, 225 or something like that. For my um, quality, that's not high enough. I really like my designs to be uh, at least at 300 DPI. However, 
Printify will print it at a 200 and some DPI. And as long as Printify does not say low resolution when you upload the design, it really will come out just fine. This is just a personal preference of mine, okay? So I'm gonna download this again, and then we're going to upload it again to Printify. All right, my creators, we're back over on Printify. So I'm going to delete our, our initial design. And remember, it said that the resolution was 235. So if you look over on the right-hand side, this is where you find that information out. So we're going to delete this design. I, we can just click on the trash can right here to delete it. I'm going to go to upload and we are now going to upload our new file and see if that resolution is high enough. All right, so it's adding the new file to the library and in just a moment it's going to tell us and it is wonderful. So if you look to the right, it tells you that the DPI is 368. So that just proves that moving that dial on Canva all the way to the right gives you a larger um, resolution. But again, what that resolution ends up being depends on what it started with in the first place, all right? So when you look at the screen, when you look at this T-shirt, it looks the same as when we had the other uh, image on here. So that is what I mean when, you know, when you look at the computer, you can't necessarily tell. When you're looking on just the screen, it looks the same, but the print itself will be different because the, um, the computer knows if the design is a high enough resolution or not. And that is what makes the difference in the quality of your design. Now, remember when I told you that I like to make my t-shirt images 12 by 16 to start with? So if we click on preview, you're going to see that this looks great. We don't have to do any changes. I love the shirt just as it is. But every print on demand company has their own specific sizes. So if we click on the eye right here for image, it tells you that the print area here, which is the dotted lines on this shirt, this whole print area is 4494 by 5093 pixels. So that's the whole area size that we could have made the design by. So we could have gone to Canva and made our image this size in the very first place. But sometimes if you don't know if you're going to use Printify or Printful or when you're buying images from people, they make them in a basic size and you have to resize those designs to fit, you know, your specific size for your print on demand company. So anyway, guys, I hope you got something from this. I just wanted to show you how you can make some absolutely gorgeous designs with your images that you've created, your AI images, how to remove the background and how to increase the resolution and start using those images on your, you know, print on demand items. So please give me a thumbs up like the video, share the video, comment on the video. And remember, as always, the more we create, the less we hate. And I will see you in the next video.